Alright guys, welcome back to the Nation of Aviation, and today we're back in DCS World to be covering how to track to NDBs using the MI-8 and the Huey's ADF system on board. As always guys, if you want to join up on our Discord, I'll put a link down in the description. Feel free to come down there and ask questions whenever you want, and uh, join our channel. Alright, so first things first, we've got to find an NDB to track to. So I found this one at the airport, the frequency was uh, 336, that's the NDB sim uh, symbol looks like on the F-10 map. And we're going to be tracking to that. One thing you'll notice is NDBs are not line of sight, unlike uh, TACNs or VOR. So we, I placed myself behind that mountain range, and uh, you'll see that we'll still receive the signal to that airport. All right, jumping into the airplane here, we're going to find the NDB. It's going to be on the top side above the co-pilot. And I'll move our view so we can get a better uh, look at it here. All right, so at the top middle switch, we're going to turn it to comp, and that's going to be ADF for us and you'll notice the needle on the left side spike up a little bit. So when the off position goes down and comp or ADF it goes on. So we'll leave it in ADF and then we're going to tune our frequency in which was 336. So the bottom of the uh, gaze there does the outer numbers on the left and the middle gauge or the middle knob changes the uh, inner numbers there. Okay so we got 330 obviously we still don't have a channel the needle hasn't moved so we got to change the knob on the left we're going to change it to 6 because that was our frequency, 336, so the uh, out, very outside number is that little knob on the left side there. And you'll notice that we have the channel. If I turn that knob back to 0, it doesn't find a channel. So we'll go back to 6 and we'll have the channel uh, or the uh, needle spike saying we have a signal. Okay, so when we go back to the uh, pilot seat, you'll notice the white needle on the HSI is going to be pointing direct to the station. Now in our case, we're almost pretty much there, but when we turn the frequency off it'll actually completely center up on the uh, on the needle so if I turn it off notice the needle is completely centered now and when I turn it back on it'll be a little bit to the left uh, be about one zero zero and obviously it'll basically just fly direct to the heading that it's pointing to in our uh, in our MI8 and that'll take you direct to the uh, station all right, now we're back in the Huey. We'll be doing the ADF uh, in the Huey now. So same idea, same frequency as 336, and the NDB or the ADF in the Huey is going to be on our bottom left side. So I'll take uh, the pilot body out. I'll slew us to the left here. I'll zoom in. So the knob on the very bottom left, we're going to have to turn to ADF, Automatic Direction Finder. You'll hear a squelching noise when you do it in the airplane. But once it's on ADF, we'll have to tune in the channel. So on the right side here is our tuning and our frequency is 336 so it follows, it falls in between on the left side there but if our frequency was 556 we'd have to spin the thicker knob to the 400-800 frequency range. But uh, for now we'll leave it on the left side and then we can just tune with the top uh, knob, the thinner one, all the way to our channel. You'll be scrolling this for quite a bit so uh, you can map it on a control or do whatever you need to do and uh, to get the spinning faster. Once you get the channel, the needle, just like the MI-8, will uh, go off to the right and you'll receive a signal on your uh, HSI for the needle. It'll point directly to the NDB uh, where to fly to. And that's it. So if you're on a rotorhead series or a mission with CSAR that has NDBs on uh, certain ejected pilots, all you do is you grab their frequency, you plug it into the, ND, uh, the ADF down there or in the, up top in the MI-8 and you fly direct to the uh, needle. Alright guys, so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.